Hello, and welcome to this Renaissance Synergy training presentation. I'm Warren Miller, one of the Renaissance Synergy support team members. In this short video, I will describe and demonstrate how you download and install IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy. Let's get started. In this demonstration, I'll show you how easy it is to find, download, and install the IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy. I will quickly introduce some of its key elements and show how it is an important part of the expanding ecosystem of the Synergy platform. I will then give a click-by-click -click demonstration showing all the steps needed to get IAR Embedded Workbench for Synergy running on your computer. Finally, I'll suggest some next steps you can take to continue learning about and using the Renaissance Synergy platform to dramatically simplify your next design. With the addition of the market-leading IAR Embedded Workbench, the Renaissance Synergy platform now has a highly optimizing market-leading development tool as an option. As shown in this diagram, its IDE tools include an editor and project manager. Its build tools include a C, C++ compiler, assembler, and linker. And its CSPY debugging tools include hardware drivers and specialized power debugging capabilities, great for IoT applications. Fully integrated CSTAT and CRUN analysis tools make it easy to create efficient designs. Now that you've seen some of the key features of IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy, you probably want to know how to get it running on your computer. Let's do a quick click-by-click -click walkthrough of the entire process. Our first step is to go to the Renaissance Synergy Gallery where we can download the required software components. If you're not already a member, the sign-up process is easy. Just answer the few questions to fill in your account information, user profile, export control, and some final additional information. Click Submit, and usually within 24 hours, you'll receive an email with your login information. Once you're a member, just sign in and navigate to the Renaissance SSC, the Synergy Standalone Configurator. The Documentation tab shows the installation instructions, which need to be carefully followed during the installation process. First, download and install SSC. Second, download and install SSP. Third, download and install IAR Embedded Workbench for Synergy. Start the download. Accept the license agreement, and then the download starts. In order to save time via the magic of video editing, this video skips some of the wait. Once the file is downloaded, save it to the desktop. Now I'm actually going to download all three zip files first before installing them. This is a bit different than the written installation instructions, but it will save a bit of time and simplify the video. You can use either method when you do your own installation. To download SSP, Navigate to the SSP page and select Download Details. Then click on Download and accept the license agreement. Download starts. Again, I'll fast forward to download completion. Save the file to the desktop. Finally, navigate to the IAR EW for Synergy page. Click Download accept the license agreement, and save the file to the desktop. All three zip files are downloaded. Unzip each file, which has been edited out to save time. The resulting files are on the desktop. Now run the SSC installation wizard, use the default path, and click Install. I'll fast forward through the wait, and close the completed announcement window. Next, Follow the second step of the installation instructions, making sure to take note of the instruction to ignore the SSP installer notification to point to the root of a version of E2Studio and point to the SSC installation instead. Start the installation, copy and paste the SSC installation root to the SSP location, and then click Install. Use the SSC location for the SSP documentation so it's easy to find. Once finished, close the completion notification window. The third step 
is to install IAREW for Renaissance Synergy. I'll fast forward through file processing. Click Install on the command screen. Click Next. Click Accept. And click Next. Accept the default location and click Next. Accept the default driver. Click Next. Accept the default folder. Click Next. And then click Install. I'm going to fast forward through the installation to the finish screen. Elect to view the release notes later, which is highly recommended, and launch IAREW for Renaissance Synergy. Click Yes to extract the needed files. After a short delay, the wizard completes, and now IAREW for Renaissance Synergy is open on the desktop. The final step is to request a license from IAR. The registration URL is given in the IAR installation instructions and in the Getting Started Guide. To obtain a license, just click on the registration URL and provide your email address. After entering an email address, select Get License. Within a few minutes, you'll receive an email with your license number. Navigate to the License Manager, then click on License. And then Activate License. Enter your license number and then click Next. It's now possible to create a new Renaissance Synergy project. To create a project, select Project, New Project, and then scroll down to Renaissance Synergy Project. Create a workspace to store your projects. The license file associated with your Synergy project is displayed and is located in the default license folder. Next, provide a project name and SSC starts up automatically, bringing up the familiar Synergy Software Package Configuration screen, which runs from within IAR. IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy is now fully installed and running. To complete the project configuration, select the desired devices, click Next, then select the template and click Finish. The SSP configuration window is populated with the template contents. Selecting Configuration tabs shows the project details. Close the window, and the project is automatically opened with an IAR. Select the project, and open the Blinky Thread Entry.c file, and scroll down to observe the Blinky code. The project is now available with an IAR for further development and debugging. You should now have a working installation of the powerful IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy running on your computer. You probably want to try out an example application. If you have a Synergy kit, just plug the kit into your computer and compile and run a simple project, like Threaded Blinky, available as a template when you create a Synergy project. Then, try to make a simple modification, perhaps to change the blink frequency. And then use the debugging tools, or CSTAT or CRUN. You can read the Getting Started Guide that was included with the installation to learn how to use the advanced capabilities of IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy on your next design. Don't delay. Start today.